failure of voiding of fecus see constipation next next digestive disorder is constipation next digestive disorder is constipation now during constipation there is a failure of voiding of fecus when i say voiding it means discharge so already the fecal matter is somewhere they it is in the rectum so there is a failure of pushing out of that fecal matter so fecal matter remains inside the colon inside the large intestine any part of large intestine uh, uh, there is a failure of sending out of that feces outside so feces will remain inside the large intestine for a longer duration when it is present in a longer duration for a longer duration more water is absorbed so feces becomes hard so once feces becomes hard the movement of feces becomes further difficult it becomes further difficult so when this is happening there is some dis discomfort inside the in, in inside the abdomen so when there is a failure of voiding of fecus feces there is discomfort in abdomen followed by discomfort in abdomen it is called constipation now causes for constipation lack of water and fiber in diet irregular bowel disorder certain diseases certain drugs diseases like parkinsons multiple sclerosis drugs anti hypertensive drugs anti depressants certain narcotic drugs spasm of sigmoid colon or megagolon due to defect in my enteric plexus factors which result in constipation with the major factor is a lack of fiber in diet lack of water in diet now after eating food we should take good quantities of water when sufficient water water is medium of life complete digest digestive process occurs with the help of hydrolysis hydrolysis are enzymes they are enzymes which act in the presence of water so if there is no water digestive enzymes are not working properly process of digestion is not going on properly fiber in diet in a balanced diet along with carbohydrates proteins lipids vitamins minerals and water there is also fiber some vegetables contain more of fiber all fruits contain lot of fiber green leafy vegetables all leafy vegetables contain fiber it contains cellulose hemicellulose lignin certain substances which are not digested itself that itself is called fiber when there is more fiber so it will induce more peristalsis no fiber no peristalsis and feces is not sent outside so there is constipation and of course irregular bowel disorder the irregular bowel uh, stools are irregular under that condition certain diseases like parkinsons multiple sclerosis 
Under certain diseased conditions, there is constipation. Parkinson's. It's a disorder of central nervous system with reference to motor activities. So where dopamine producing neurons are damaged. Multiple sclerosis. It's again disorder of brain and spinal cord where myelin sheath surrounding neurons are, it is destroyed. Uh, so activities controlled by brain and spinal cord. So some of those uh, neurons are damaged and it's a disease. So under certain diseases, you'll see constipation and certain drugs, drugs to, the drugs that we take to reduce hypertension, drugs that we take to reduce depression and certain narcotic drugs. Narcotic drugs are called psychoactive drugs. So when these drugs are taken, there is constipation. Some cases, the sigmoid colon, see ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon. Descending colon opens into sigmoid colon. S-shaped, it is S-shaped colon, that's why it's called sigmoid colon. It is called sigmoid colon, it is also called pelvic colon. So some cases spasm occurs, muscles they undergo contraction. So it remains in sustained contraction for a certain period of time. So only when muscles are continuously contracting and relaxing, you can see peristalsis. So when it remains in sustained contraction, there is no movement of food. And defect in myentric plexus, of course the total peristaltic activity is controlled by nerves brain and nerves coming from that. Nerves after coming they enter into the wall of the gut and produce networks of neurons. We have got two networks of neurons. One is the Auerbach plexus, other is the myentric plexus. Myentric plexus is present in between the muscles. So in the wall of the gut, in between the muscles, longitudinal circular muscles, in between there is a network of neurons, it is called myentric plexus. Myentric plexus controls peristalsis. Now there is defect in the myentric plexus only. So when supposing there is a defect in this area, so in that area if there is defect, you can see contraction in that area stops. So food comes and accumulates there. So you can see swelling in that area. Food is not moving from that. So you can see 4 inches, 5 inches, it has increased. So that itself is called megacolon. So under certain conditions, you will see constipation. It is because it is basically because of lack of water or fiber and irregular bowel movements, diseases and drugs. Some cases, sigmoid colon undergoes spasm, or some cases there is defect in certain parts of myendric plexus, which prevents peristalsis in that area. So all this will result in constipation.